said on Friday that you thought you were really, really close to a, a big showing, how close to a big showing was it? Yeah, yeah, um, we could all feel it. We were um, frustrated but confident going into this one. Um, obviously, those last three weeks, we knew we were putting together some really good stuff and our systems were coming through. We just um, were shooting ourselves in the foot a bit. So um, we took care of a lot of their errors tonight and pounced on a few um, and we, you know, drew back on our own. So uh, it ended up being a really good showing. What kind of win like, impressive is that do to a team that struggled to find that winning feeling just by playing well yeah, I think it'll be huge. Um, we imposed ourselves on them for the most of the game. Um, probably would have liked to keep them scoreless. Um, we let them in a few times there towards the end. Um, but I think we really had a good um, good attitude to sort of keep the foot on the throat. Um, and I think it's important for us as, a, as an organisation, um, important to show the fans, especially for our first home game. Um, we've done a lot to reconnect with them and to give them that sort of uh, performance on the first game at home was awesome. Um, and I think, yeah, it'll tick the boys over to show that we really can do that and we can hopefully keep it going because, um, you know, to, we can put it together for a few minutes or phases as we've seen in the last few weeks, but to keep it for most of the game, that was pretty important. To, to score um, 10 tries, that's to talk about getting the fans back on the board, that's a pretty good way to do it, right? Yeah. Next weekend. Yeah, no better way to do it. and. Um, our defence was still quite good through it. Um, a lot of big hits there, which turned into errors from them, which we pounced on to score. So um, it's going to be very important going into the next few ones. And um, yeah, it'll encourage our fans to keep coming back for us. Right. What did you make of it? Yeah, um, yeah yes. Um, uh, coming in off the first three games. You know, uh, some good foot, good footy played, but you know, not getting that 80 minutes, um, and, and you know, falling short. Um, we sort of wanted. It was good to be home. Great to be home. And uh, uh, even though it was a short week, um, the guys. I'm really pleased how they fronted tonight. You sort of uh, <coughs> quietly in your head, you're wondering, you know, how they're going to front up after those first three weeks because even this week you're still not sleeping that well whatever but they came to play the boys came to play as they have done all four games now and uh, yeah it was um, I'm pleased that there was something there for the people who supported us you know TV at the stadium um, you know we've really believed in the talent that comes through Queensland and um, to see them express themselves um, as they did tonight was uh, was really cool, and you know, it seemed like people were enjoying that. And, um, you know, but as a you know, being a coach uh, the last couple of years, you know, you, and from my playing days, it's one game in it, so let's not get too carried away. Um, and we've got a very tough opponent next week. Uh, and the Sharks, so um, we'll enjoy tonight and then uh, we're going to work hard again, you know, we're just going to work, we will never stop, you know, we're just going to continue to um, work to grow our game and and, um, and push towards our potential. So, there was all these deficiencies last week that cost you, but tonight you are able to <coughs> improve like, the rolling ball and those you know, sort of things that you were able to fix on a bit of time, like, are they... Um, Fair to say we did a bit of work on that during the week, you know. Um, you didn't have long too, no, we didn't. But um, you know, you remember last week we were up against the test side as well. So you got to just keep things in perspective. Um, so uh, I'm all for you know how things went tonight. You got to enjoy those moments, you know. Um, and um, so. You know, the thing that, like I said, I'm just hoping the people of Queensland, uh, rugby people, they're, they're seeing that, that, that potential that's there or that, you know, that talent. And, um, there's some attractive rugby there, which is good for Australian rugby as well, you know. Um, um, so I just think, even though we came home without a win from those three games, there's been a, a lot of positive stuff that's I'm hearing, that's what I'm being told um, and 
they turned out tonight, the fans, and um, it was just good to give them something. Uh, and we want to keep doing that. So that's, uh, that's where we're heading. Liam, in, uh, what do you think kind of plus on is that been able to so uh, confidently play the uh, Super Rugby immediately and play the back um, you know, he's been around uh, programs for the last few years, um, in Melbourne especially, and I'm sure he's learnt a lot. Um, uh, he's had to grow up a lot, you know, coming up to Queensland and so took a lot on that himself. Um, and as a person, he's a really hard worker um, and a really nice guy. Um, his, his game is, speaks for itself. Um, he runs direct hard lines and he tackles hard. Um, he's just a combative sort of player. Um, and I think just the, the confidence is that um, our second team is really pushing our first team um, at training every time. Um, it gives them the confidence that they're going to make us be better, and we have to be better to make sure that um, you know that they're not um, getting over the top of us. So it's healthy competition at our training, which um, pushes all players to be better. And um, he's just an example of that. You know, obviously um, with Geordie in front of him, he's had to work really, really hard to to show what he can do, um, and he's gotten his opportunity now, and um, he doesn't look like he's letting go. He's my type of guy, basically. <laughs> yeah, again, yeah, he's my style. I like that. I like, um, I like that directness. I love the physicality. You know, um, as a player, I love backs that were like that. So, I think he fits in well. He can't. You have, you know, different styles of, um, you know, in your team and. He just fits well with what we else we have there. We have a lot of creativity, and you know you got good stuff going on all around him. But you know what he brings uh, is unique to him. And um, you know defensively, offensively, he's um, yeah, he fits in really well with our guys. So um, we followed him at West. I knew him from the twenties. Obviously, you know Liam would have played him. So I've not, 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 yeah, seen Hunter for a long time. I know what he's like. We've seen him in 216, 217 in the 20s. Seen him in RC. So I was pleased when I heard he was up this way. And uh, we watched him, brought him into NRC. You know how I feel about the NRC. It's just such a great tool, it's a great um, um, yeah, vehicle to bring players through. And, uh, and then we got him in and um, trained the house down Troll games, did the business, him and Hamish. Uh, and then, yeah, he's, I think um, part of him doing well is just that confidence. He's come through well. Uh, I think the, the, the friendship, the mates, the, the sort of bond that the guys have, there's, you know, it's not like he's just some outsider that's going out there and good luck. <laughs> they're, they're tight, the guys. Um, so, I just imagine there's a good confidence going out with the guys. He feels good around them. Uh, and, um, you know, yeah, pleased for him. So it was gutting to lose Geordie, wonderful young man, talented, you know, footballer. Um, but, yeah, I guess it's showing some positive things that, you know, you have your depth to replace him with Hunter. You know, uh, Chris Sortier could play in that position as well. So, um, you know, a couple of years on in this gig, it's it's good to see you know some of that depth starting to build, you know. Uh, with the 10, 15 axis of James O'Connor and John Campbell, uh, it wasn't probably the combination you imagined you'd be starting the season with, uh, but they really come into their own as the season progresses. How do you feel about what they've brought to this team's attack? Those two in particular, James and uh, Jock. 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 Yeah. Um, um, yeah. A guy that came out of club football a couple of years ago. I just love those stories, you know. Um, Scotty Malua, you know, there's a whole list of them. Um, I love that it's, I feel like maybe in the different times in the past, you feel like if you didn't make those developing teams, then you didn't, you know, it's over. I love that they can be there and um, and they do good footy and they, they can get noticed and opportunities and that's, that's Jock and yeah, he's just going from strength to strength. He's a rookie of the year last year. Um, he's got a maturity about him. He's got an X factor about him. And, you 
know, um, you know, uh, he's just making every post the one. He's kicking goals now. He's, you know. Um, so, yeah, great to have him there, James. Um, um, you know, he's first played him as a 17-year-old. Might have been one of his first game against the Force at, uh, over at Jade Stadium. Um, 17 years old he was, uh, on the wing, bouncing around. Um, remember thinking, he, he goes all right. Um, um, we all know his uh, story, and for him to get this opportunity, he really values that, and he wants to, he just wants to um, repay, you know, the opportunity, the faith that's been put in him, and um, it's just that maturity, at, you know, 29 years of age, 30 years of age, at 10, um, has, I feel like, been a good thing. It allows guys like Isaac to continue to develop and get opportunities as well, you know, um, uh, and other guys. So it's great to have them in there um, um, and you're yeah, hoping those combinations, which I think are really important and, you know, will we'll grow and uh, yeah, there's some good strike going on there. Is that the combination you see going through the rest of the tournament? The one with... James O'Connor at 10 and John Campbell at fullback. Is that going forward, the, the core? We'll just see, mate. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, um, you know, uh, they, they're doing a great job. And, um, you know, Hamish is doing a great job at 12. And uh, um, so, yeah, we'll just we'll just um, play it out as, as it goes. And um, there'll be I'm sure there'll be more opportunities for Isaac. We've got a young man called Carter Gordon that... Um, yeah, you know, I have a lot of belief in in his future as well. But, um, so there's good things going on. There's yeah. Last question. Um, you, so, Tony, you've talked about that depth. Is that you're building and that you've got before? If you're going to be a finalist, how important is it for you to have that depth that allows you to do what you did tonight? I think Liam played all but 12 minutes of the season last year. You were mm. only resting for half an hour tonight mm. off the back of that road trip. Fraser, is that really important going forward for yep. things like next week against the Sharks? Angus Scott Young had a week off. He's been a soldier for the last two years. Um, and nothing to do with his form. He's been playing well. So um, if you want to get to the business end and be uh, you know, in good shape and, and fresh and whatever, it's good to be able to... to that death really helps because you can... Um, manage games and time and stuff like that so um, I've always thought League Union you can tell a great team by its bench you know I've been in Crusader teams where we had all blacks sitting on the bench um, you know so uh, um, so that's that's something that if you remember the first year we came in it was like just trying to scratch up players <laughs> to play and and getting a bunch of kids and saying get out there and have a go, um, yeah, yeah. Put the seatbelt on. I think I remember saying to you guys, you know, let's see how this goes. Um, then last year, you know, um, second year round, and they got some consistency. The second year round, they got a, you know, but we still fell short. This year, um, you know, with with some of those layers of age groups coming through, you young Fraser and. McGrath, yeah, Harry Wilson. Um, yeah, there's more guys coming too next year. It's I just have a massive belief. It's just so, it's so easy um, to see that Queensland supplies um, talent, you know, in league and union. And if you believe in it, faith in it, bring it through, coach it, um, you know, have good programs on and support it, I just think that you'll get good pay there over time. Um, so um, for me, it's for, as a player, it was always about fast tracking, trying to learn fast, and I've been we've tried to do that with the guys, and, and they're in a good space. I think in you know three to four years, um, yeah, there's, there's going to be some um, this there's, there's going to be some pretty good team here, I imagine. Um, and so, but yeah, we're just where we are at the moment and um, kicking along. Sorry, you don't feel. You feel it's going to take three or four years more to realise the potential of this group? To become a great team, to be, I'm talking, you know, um, 
Yeah, you got Harry Wilson's played three games. <coughs> How many games do you reckon you played in three, four years? You know, um, all these guys. Uh, I think they can be a very good team now. What well, it said to the team, there's a good team here. We just got to realise that, you know. But I'm, I'm just saying, um, um, you know, guys who are 25, 26, 27, 28, when you're in your prime, um, it's pretty exciting too, isn't it? You know, don't know if I'll be here to be a part of that, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying being part of it at the moment. And, um, it's all good. Jimmy, last one. Uh, I'm just going to ask you about the Sharks. You mentioned that you couldn't rest on your laurels. Um, I, I didn't see their game today yet, um, but obviously their big threat is um, pace. They've got <coughs> just pace to burn out in their centres and wingers, and they use them really well. Uh, they've still got a strong typical <coughs> South African forward pack. Um, we'll try and bully us around the field, so um, we'll look more in depth into that um, going next week. But um, just the obvious one is just um, physically they're, they're great specimens. They've got big forwards and fast backs, which is... Uh, what you want in a team, and they're playing quite good football at the moment. They've strung a few wins together, um, but you know uh, they'll be on their third week, I think, of this of this Australasian tour. So um, we're just going to have to, you know, go back to the drawing board and um, put in another really good week of training. And um, we can't get quite complacent from one win. So we'll turn up for them again. Thanks, guys.